This week on Country Music Junkies, we have an artist to introduce you to. Although he needs no introduction, we are chatting with Canadian country music artist Ryan Laird. Ryan, thank you so much for joining us. It's great to be here. Thank you for uh, taking the time to speak with me. Well, we're super pumped to talk about your new single, Summertime Girl. Can we start with that? I know it was just released recently, and uh, fans, you can request it to your local radio stations. Can we talk about that song and the story behind it and how it came to be? Yeah, I've been making trips down to Nashville for years uh, from small town Fergus, Ontario, <laughs> in Canada here. And so, um, you know, I was down in Nashville uh, doing a songwriting trip a few months ago and got together with uh, a Canadian uh, music legend, uh, Patricia Conroy. Oh, and cool. um, we ended up uh, sitting down and, and uh, wrote like three songs in a week, and it was just a great creative connection. And, and so one of those songs we wrote was Summertime Girl. And I um, actually wrote it for my... My partner, Jaylee, like she was sort of the inspiration behind the song, and, and Patricia, you know, we got together for that afternoon and, and got the guitars out and were able to, to knock out the song. I was just really excited about it, so we took it into the studio and, uh, and ended up recording it, and uh, I've got a handful of new songs, and we decided that that was the one to uh, lead off with the single for it. It's obviously uh, seasonally appropriate since it's the summertime now. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, for fans who haven't heard that song, how would you describe it? Uh, yeah, I could just describe the song as, uh, you know, kind of modern country. I think it's a little bit, um, you know, progressive for me from what I put out in the past. And uh, I think I've just kind of been continually, as any artist would, I think, trying to evolve uh, my sound as a, as, and also as a, a, song, a songwriter evolve that way as well. And I think vocally I was able to, um, you know, kind of um, experiment and, and with some of the lower tones in my voice and stuff. Um, so I'm really excited about how that, how it, you know, the song came out, and it's still me, you know, playing my guitar and singing the song and stuff. I just think it's a little bit of a evolved sound, so I'm uh, I'm really excited that, you know, we've just recently um, serviced the song to radio, and it's up on iTunes and all that stuff, so I'm uh, really excited to uh, see what people think of it. Excellent. Well, fans, you can go to ryanlaird.com for more information about Ryan, and also uh, check out the song, give it a download, and call your local radio station and get them to start playing it if they aren't already. Uh, let's talk, Ryan, about... Your Bigger Than That movement, it's uh, a very cool bullying prevention and youth empowerment program. So talk about how that started and why it's so important to you. When I was in uh, middle school, so, you know, several years ago, uh, around grade 7, I was uh, bullied at school pretty badly. I, I uh, entered the school talent show and got up to sing a song for my first crush, basically, which was a, a girl at the school there. And so I got up in front of the school and sang, sang a song. For her and, and and her supposed best friend was this girl named Ashley that was a school bully, and so I think uh, what ended up happening was that as I found out a little bit later after the talent show, Ashley was jealous that I was singing this song for her friend and not for her because Ashley, you know, wanted all the attention. I think so. Um, you know, I, I ended up getting bullied because of that after by Ashley and and some of the people that she influenced around school and stuff, and it just wasn't a very nice experience for me as a kid being all around all that bullying at school and stuff, and it made me pretty upset at the time. So. So, you know, fast forward several years, um, and obviously I'm a country artist and more grown up now and whatnot, and um, it inspired me to start the Bigger Than That movement, uh, which is basically like a concert program with a motivational message of youth empowerment and, and bullying prevention, and we visited over 200 schools across different um, small towns in Canada um, in the last year, so it's been, uh, it's been really busy and been very inspiring and a uh, very rewarding experience for me as well to get to visit so many youth across Canada and just share the, uh, the message and the music uh, from the program with them. That's awesome. Now, you have kind of a tie-in album, Bigger Than That, uh, that you've released and is available for um, download on iTunes and stuff as well. What can fans expect from that album? Yeah, it's got um, about a dozen songs, uh, you know, that I, that I wrote or co-wrote. Uh, several of the songs have to do with um, the underlying message of the Bigger Than That program. Um, I could start with the first song on the album, which is the... the the title song of the album and the program called Bigger Than That, of course, and, you know, it's just, um, I wanted to have an album that kind of focused on the message of what that is, which was sort of, you know, inspiring youth to be bigger than that when it comes to things like bullying or negative influences in their life. Um, could be bullying, could be drugs, could be things that, you know, that maybe you're going to try and suppress them or hold them back, and I just wanted to focus on, you know, um, inspiring them to uh, chase after their dreams through a real-life story, which 
abuse myself, you know, because I always share my life story of how I was bullied uh, as a child growing up. And even when I went to Nashville, I always tell the kids at the Bigger Than That programs how I was sort of, um, you know, surrounded by some negativity when I was in Nashville. Uh, you know, I, I put up a billboard to, to country music star Taylor Swift in 2008 right. to help get my music star kickstarted just yeah. it was a marketing idea and asking her to produce my album and it was like where everybody could see it in Nashville but I had some people in Nashville that weren't really encouraging me with the idea of the billboard before I put it up and were kind of trying to hold me back from doing it but I explained to the kids at the at the schools that you know sometimes you have to really follow your gut instinct and if you believe in yourself enough um, you got to just go for it and chase that dream and that's kind of what I had to do in my life to make my musical aspirations come true so um, you know that's kind of the underlying message of the program just to use myself as a real life example and then inspire the kids to chase their dreams and it's a very interactive concert as well so I'll often have students come up on stage and talk about what's going on in their lives and maybe share some of their dreams as well which is always really cool to uh, get to, to see and be a part of. Absolutely that is so cool now let's kind of fast forward into the the summer what's what's going on with you what's next? I'm just doing some touring um um, going to be playing Canada Day shortly here coming up uh, in Northern Ontario. Um, doing some one-off dates throughout the summer um, with the band. I've got a backup band. And then um, I'm also continuing uh, in the fall to do uh, the Bigger Than That tours. Um, you know, it's pretty much a September to June kind of tour with that because school's out in the summer. So, right. But, um, yeah, so I've got a lot of uh, be going out to the East Coast of the Maritimes doing a tour in September, October, um, starting right after the CCMA Awards that I'll be at in Halifax in September and then uh, we're going to be bringing the Bigger Than That tour heading west after that right through my home province here of Ontario and uh, continuing it west so the goal of the program is to visit as many schools as we possibly can across Canada next year and um, while I'm doing that I'll be continuing to release new singles to country uh, Canadian Country Radio um, after Summertime Girl has uh, run its course. Excellent. Well, fans, be sure to head to RyanLaird.com, check out his music, download Summertime Girl, and again, request it at your local radio stations. Ryan, thank you so, so much for chatting with us. Thanks so much for chatting with me. It's been great.